We'll look at a small example of what Power Query can do. There is no exercise file with this, so just watch and follow along. Here I have a workbook with a first name, last name, and ID. And the ID is stuck on the last name, so Booker1973. Okay, that's group 1. Then here's group 2. The same thing is going on. We want to know if they passed the two exams that they had to take. Here's a list of the exam results by ID for everybody who took these two exams. In order to pass, they need an 80% average. And notice, yeah, there are just IDs, not names. So what we have to do is bring in group 1's and group 2's data. That gets stacked up and then figure out who passed and who didn't. First, I'm going to go and I'm going to close that other workbook. Here it is. Close it. And that's saved to my desktop. What I'm going to do right away is then import that data. Here we go. This is going to be sweet. Data. Get data. From file. From workbook. There we are on desktop. There it is. Power Query example. Double click it. Group 1. Group 2. Great. I'm going to highlight the folder. And then I will go to transform data. Now this shows me the sheet name and then our data is in that data column with the name column already highlighted. I'm going to hold down control and then select this data column, right click, and remove the other columns. Now expand. I don't want to use this original column name as prefix. Okay. Look at that. There is our data. We're going to rename this group. And then the first name. And then double click here, last name. I don't want those other column headers called first name, last name, ID. I'm going to filter that out. First name. Okay. Now that's gone. How am I going to split the ID from the last name? I'm going to highlight that column and I'm going to split it into a non-digit change to a digit. Whoa, look at that. All right. Call this ID and we're moving now. Call this last name. Then I'm going to close and load this to the workbook. Next, I want to get those exam results. Data. From table range. Okay. And I want to get the average, so I'm going to add column. Add a custom column. Going to do this. Open parenthesis. Exam 1 plus exam 2. Close parenthesis, divided by 2. Press OK. Now I can add a conditional column to see who passed and who didn't. Conditional column. Pass. Fail. If that custom column we made is greater than or equal to 80, then pass. Otherwise, we're just going to leave it blank. We don't want to be mean to those who failed. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is merge these two data sets. And I'm going to set myself up to do a merge. So what I need to do is I've got to change this ID to text. And then this other one. That ID needs to be text, which it is. Okay. And I'm going to call this query our results query.
All right, so now let's do a merge. From home tab, merge queries. Merge queries is new. I want example on top of the results at the bottom. Match up ID and ID. We're leaving this as a left outer join. Okay. Going to slide over, expand. I don't need the ID, I don't need exam scores, I just want to know pass fail. Okay, now close and load this to workbook. There's the result of who passed and who failed. Great. And that is just one of the examples of what's possible with Power Query and how it can save people hours and days. Back before Power Query, if we had to split the last name and an ID, it was a mess. But Power Query has those tools in it and it helped us out a lot, which is why it's worth getting to know Power Query.